Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to discuss a slightly different topic in regards to one of the pictures that was posted on Facebook relatively recently, and of course, went viral. The image of a rare black iceberg you see right here, recently spotted near Labrador in Canada, with the picture being taken by Halur Antonyusen, a fisherman working in Canada, but originally from the Faroe Islands. And naturally, this image went viral because these black icebergs are somewhat rare, and in this case, somewhat difficult to explain as well. With many people speculating that maybe this dark coloration is the result of some kind of a volcanic eruption, some kind of a meteorite strike, or maybe something else very bizarre that potentially happened up to 100,000 years ago, because this is assumed to be a relatively old iceberg. And so in this video, let's discuss what we actually know about iceberg colors, how they usually form, and possibly explain this bizarre mystery as well by using actual scientific evidence and a few scientific links you can find in the description. But first, if you're wondering why this video might look different or why I might sound different, it's really because I'm currently taking a break, traveling with my son, and mostly because my equipment back home got destroyed and I actually lost a lot of footage and decided to focus on some videos I really wanted to make but never got a chance to finish. And this is one of those videos. A somewhat unusual topic, but something that's still kind of intriguing. And so today we're going to be diving into this somewhat visually striking and scientifically fascinating phenomenon of colorful icebergs. But to start, we obviously have to discuss why most icebergs appear white. And the answer is really simple. Even though we assume icebergs, even I guess by name, are mostly made out of ice, that's maybe not entirely true, because icebergs tend to contain a lot of other stuff as well. Which usually ends up producing different types of colors, including blue, vibrant green, surprising yellow, and even black. But I guess first let's tackle the basic colors. Why are most icebergs white? Well, the answer is really simple. They contain a lot of fallen snow, and as the snow falls, it also creates a lot of tiny air bubbles. These bubbles, just by their nature, tend to scatter a lot of wavelengths of light and do so relatively equally in every direction. Which is why snow, and of course icebergs, end up appearing white. And so here you can actually think of an iceberg as a kind of a foam on the ocean, but in this case made out of snowflakes. But what about the much more rare blue icebergs? Well, here this is where things get just a little bit more interesting. As a lot of snow accumulates over thousands of years, and as it gets compressed under immense pressure, usually a lot of this pressure squeezes out all of the air. And so all of those light scattering air bubbles slowly transform into extremely dense glacial ice. And so when the light hits this super compressed ice, instead of appearing white, it actually starts appearing as this gorgeous deep blue, very similar to the ocean water and basically for the exactly same reason. Ice absorbs the longer wavelengths of light, so here we're talking about reds, yellows and greens, and scatters shorter wavelengths such as blue. And so the deeper the ice, the more compressed it becomes and the more blue it starts to appear as well. Which actually suggests that the blueness of ice can also imply its age. Some of the most ancient ice, possibly hundreds of thousands or even millions of years old, will usually appear blue. But we obviously get other colors too. And specifically ice can also create vibrant hues of greens and yellows, which tend to appear in certain locations. And these are not just anomalies, they actually tell us a story about the ocean itself. And normally these colorful giants can be found somewhere in the Antarctica. Mostly because greens and yellows are usually formed by a specific phenomenon referred to as marine ice. Unlike glacial ice, marine ice forms when the seawater freezes to the undersides of the ice shelves. And if that seawater is extremely enriched in organic matter, for example in various types of algae, or in some kind of a colorful plankton, this ice then traps them and assumes their overall color. And so when light interacts with these trapped organic compounds, it absorbs certain wavelengths and it reflects others. Which ends up creating a diverse amount of colors depending on what's trapped inside. And so if there's just a small amount of matter or a small amount of organisms, the ice will appear similar to jade, relatively light green, but with larger concentrations of plankton, it's going to assume much deeper green or potentially even become brown. 
And obviously here we're talking about actual living organisms trapped inside ice for potentially hundreds, maybe thousands of years. And though most of them are frozen and can no longer function, some of them can be revived. But by having these diverse colors, this provides us with a living testament to the connection between ice and the ocean. But then we also have something researchers refer to as dirty ice. Ice that literally picks up dust, soil, and even rocks as it grinds across the landscape, especially when massive glaciers carve their path through mountains and valleys. But naturally, the most unusual type of ice is the black ice. Or the black icebergs, sometimes also referred to as blackbergs, that are actually exceptionally rare. And though this iceberg definitely went viral, we do have some other intriguing examples of icebergs that look even more unusual and even more bizarre. You can find some of these pictures in the links in the description. But just to be clear, these are super super rare. Although here we're not really talking about pure black. We are talking about ice that appears almost perfectly opaque and seems to absorb nearly all light. But what exactly is happening here? And honestly, there might be at least a few explanations. The primary explanation, and possibly the most scientifically grounded, is related to extreme density. So previously I talked about how usually for icebergs to appear white, they have to have those air bubbles. With the blue ice containing almost no bubbles, and thus appearing similar to water. Well, here it's possible that black ice has no bubbles, making it incredibly dense and incredibly transparent. This is actually what you're seeing in this image. And so when this really dense, transparent piece of ice submerges in water, it starts to absorb light and not reflect it, and cannot scatter light either, making it appear black. This is of course the same phenomenon that makes deep water extremely dark as well. And in terms of the actual composition, it's believed these are possibly formed by rainwater. And rainwater that seeps through crevices into frozen chunks of ice and then became solid itself, as it's solidified, creating this super compressed, air-free ice. And so here this could be the result of ancient rain. But because they are so dense, only a very small fraction of their mass is visible above the waterline, with the majority basically being underwater. And this would explain why they are so difficult to spot and why we only have just a few pictures. But it also makes them super dangerous for ships. As a matter of fact, there's even been a suggestion that it was actually this type of a black iceberg that possibly sank the Titanic. Now this is just a hypothesis, but it would make sense. But then we have other types of black icebergs that are maybe formed in a very different way. Especially icebergs that have very mottled or streaky appearance, usually involving some kind of a sediment. And so here as a lot of this sediment and a lot of this debris gets incorporated into ice layers, it can, in theory, form extremely large black chunks. And so when a glacier starts to expand, and when an iceberg breaks away from such a glacier, it can, in theory, expose these very dark, sediment-rich layers that were previously hidden beneath the surface. And here we're talking about super ancient ice that existed since the beginning of the glacier, possibly hiding for millennia or even longer, and basically carrying a lot of geological secrets with it, finally revealing them to the world. And in theory, that viral iceberg could have actually been one of these as well. But I guess the question that we need to answer is, could this black iceberg be the result of some kind of an asteroid collision? Well, though this might sound kind of wild, it has been previously speculated. And in this case, this is mostly speculated because of the location. In this case, this iceberg was discovered not so far from a somewhat recent discovery known as the Hiawatha Crater. One of two major craters discovered in Greenland not so long ago that's now covered by the Greenland ice sheet and is technically also responsible for quite a lot of icebergs. You can learn about the crater and its discovery in one of the videos in the description. And since we know that Earth has been hit by asteroids quite regularly, some of these impacts, in theory, can leave behind a lot of debris. And so this massive impact crater, 31 kilometers across, that's possibly several hundred thousand years old, or at least less than three million years old, might have been responsible for producing huge amounts of sediment, and possibly organic sediment, somewhat dark in color. And so if there was a glacier flowing through this area and collecting all of this extraterrestrial material for hundreds of years, it might have actually picked up a lot of this dark foreign matter and then combined this with the glacier ice. 
and obviously we have no definitive proof and all of this is right now just an assumption, the actual possibility is still there. The possibility that also reminds us that our planet does go through a lot of changes and quite a lot of violent events. And so there you have it, lots of different colors for these unusual structures, in many cases serving as a kind of a geological time capsule or even some kind of an environmental indicator, producing these stunning natural works of art, with each color telling us a unique story, and each color produced in a very specific way. Although interestingly, at the moment, there's no specific field of study or some kind of a biological research focusing on composition of icebergs or what's hiding inside of them. Right now we basically just get these pictures and not a lot of physical research. But honestly, this is definitely something we need to consider because these time capsules eventually disappear and they possibly contain a treasure trove of biological material. But anyway, once we discover something else or once there are some other pictures of other cool icebergs, we'll come back and discuss this more in some of the future videos. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, come back tomorrow to learn something else. Maybe support this channel on Patreon where you can find additional videos, videos without any ads, and you can also DM me directly, or by joining the channel membership that grants you early access, where you can also find additional videos and some other stuff. Or maybe consider supporting this channel by buying the wonderful person t-shirt. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.